I'm going on assignment and I have a few things here. I have like my 35 boy lander and then that's a 21 boy lander. That's my 35 Sigma. I explain later about it. One of, uh, that's my 874, my 85 Sigma heart and then my good, good 100 V. I forgot to pack batteries, extra batteries for the Fuji film, and it just happened that I turned it on before I put it in the box into the Pelican case. I forgot to turn it off. So there goes the battery. So something that probably gets overlooked these cameras nowadays is that if you're an idiot like me, uh, you can still get safe by you can still get saved by charging it so now it's charging so Oof, that's rough. So that's a sunny day. Eh, don't let it fool you. It's like 22 Fahrenheit, which is not bad. It's a nice temperature. It's like light jacket temperature to me. Okay, let's hit another spot. Okay, today I didn't forget my batteries. So I have the cameras. I'm here in Greenwood, Indiana. I'm gonna be uh, taking some pictures on the Fuji film of some very cool cars. They uh, people come from different places and they have their cars here uh, through the summer. And I didn't know, but they do it all the way until the beginning of the fall. So let's check it out. So now I want to share with you guys a couple of pictures. Um, the first one is a picture of just the street. Um, I took this the other day. I was in downtown. I kind of like what's happening. So I'm just cycling here through the different picture profiles that are built in into Lightroom and you can apply. So what this do is that they would change the appearance of your edit or will bring it closer as to what Fujifilm intended when it made the camera. So I'm cycling here through all of those. Couple, one more time, so you, you can check them out. The Astia, Classic Chrome. People love Classic Chrome. Uh, I like it, not a big deal for me though. This next picture, uh, is one of the owners of the cars uh, and I'm gonna show you not only the camera matching profiles but also the Adobe RAW profile uh, that they built in into Lightroom so I quite like how the Pro Neck High looks I really like it um, there are others here so just just take a look at it I'm making this section so you can see a little bit of uh, what things will look like if you select a preset profile from Fuji in Lightroom. And now uh, let's let's check out the, the Adobe RAW profiles. I actually like them too. They are a different flavor. So at this point, it's more about what you like. You know, it's not about what other people says is cool or they like. Uh, I know many people are into different recipes and that's cool 
but I think we can all find a way to produce some art that we can enjoy and share with other people. So I like this, this vivid profile. I think it looks cool. So to conclude, I have three thoughts mainly. Um, the first one has to do with this camera. This is the Fujifilm XE4. Now I have a pair with the new 23 f1.4. Obviously much more bigger, you know, than the X100B. Way more bigger. Um, but nevertheless, uh, if you can find an XE4, uh, you run into some hurdles, like you don't have as many dials or buttons, but uh, you have the same processor. Now you have interchangeable lenses, which is a plus. Now for me, this uh, doesn't really work, but wait, we talk about it in a review I'm gonna do. In the other hand, the second thing I like about the XE, the X100V, rather, is that I can take it everywhere. I've been taking it any place I wanted to go. It just works, it gets things done, um, and then that leads us to the third thing. So is this the ideal camera? And uh, I don't really know anymore. I really have to think hard about this because this camera, brand new, is $13.99. Now you cannot buy it for that price. If you try to find it, it's gonna be like around $1,600. Some people selling it for 1800 If you can find it, good luck. I mean, it's too expensive. Now, that's where my problem lies. My workhorse is the a7 IV, the same camera I'm recording this video on or with, and it's just a great camera. So investing like 80%, no, more like 70% of the price of the a7 IV, I have to think really hard. I used to have two A7 IVs. I saw one just because I work, I don't need it. You know, work pro provides cameras for me, so I don't really have to have them. That's one thing. Oh. And shooting pictures. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. Is this the camera for you? Maybe. If you have no other cameras, uh, if you want just say one do it all, kind of point and shoot, not quite point and shoot, kind of professional, not really professional. Don't come at me or come at me. But why I don't consider it professional? My A7 IV is not technically a professional camera. The A7R4 or R5 or the A7S3 or the A1 are professional cameras. Uh, Fujifilm have called their Pro camera their a XH2S and the XH2, not even the XT4 anymore, and X Pro 3 on the name, I guess. Uh, but I digress. For me, it doesn't really cut it. For me, it doesn't really work. Uh, I think I'm gonna be selling it. Uh, I think I cannot justify having it and have using it, especially because, wait a minute, especially because I have this, the A7S2 paired with the Boylander 51.2. Now, this is a better machine, but that's for next video.